Having this true curiosity on the Ranveer Show. When you just started doing well at the start of this season, mm. I think it was in your third or fourth game, yeah. Surya Kumar Yadav put up a story about you. Yeah. He said he met you, I think, at the NCA only. NCA, yes. Right? In Bangalore. And he said that here we see a change, Riyan Parag. Mm. I want to ask you about the change. And another way of asking that question is from a gaming perspective. Yeah. Have you ever played EA Sports Cricket? I have. Okay. <laughs> so, Name of the game. <laughs> EA Sports. <laughs> it's in the game. It's in the game. <laughs> uh, or even FIFA for that matter. If you play any sports game and you play a career mode uh, in that game, the player's overall increases. Yeah. Right? Uh, thank you for understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantasy of all no, the no, I get it. <laughs> but a player's overall increases. Yeah. Your overall shot up yeah. a lot this season. What actually happened to make it shoot up? All of us understand the FIFA or Cricket 07 perspective. Hmm. But actually, what happens in a professional athlete's life to increase the overall? What initiated Surya Kumar Yadav's story? I actually don't know. I honestly don't know. But a lot of people have said, Ki, you've changed, you've this, you've that, you've changed your batting, etc. But personally, I've not changed anything. I was this person before and I am the same person now. I maybe have worked on how hard I was practicing and how how the quality of the practice was and I increased maybe that but then I don't know I didn't change anything I just maybe the small minute things I did the basic things right I focused on how hard I needed to practice I focused on how I needed to practice certain scenarios that helped me I went to Nakur before the IPL practiced on a lot of things with Zubin Varucha I think those things might have helped but then other than that I don't know I just got better at shutting people off like not letting the outside noise bother me at all so I think that might have changed and like I said number four so that was a big uh, big step up in whatever happened this season so a combination of a little destiny yeah. in number four yeah, 100%. plus a uh, detachment you learned men to mentally detach yourself for sure uh, and you probably just maybe increased your practice duration yeah. and quality quality of practice basically can you expand on that? Because see, the thing is, if I was a cricketer, I would understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not a professional athlete yeah. and neither are the viewers. What does that mean in a cricketer's life? So there are certain situations in a T20 game, right? Either you open the innings or like I say, I'm playing number four and one of the games are against Sunrisers. We lost two wickets in the first over. So now if I haven't practiced that scenario, if I'm at practice, I'm in Nagpur, it's a 22-yard pitch. If I've not shortened it down to 18 yards... And I have people throwing at me at 150Ks. If I'm not used to that doing that, I'm going to feel that's a whole different situation altogether. But what I did in Nagpur was I got Vangers. It's called Vangers. People who throw the ball right. with that stick. So They were throwing at 150Ks. And I was practicing from 18 yards. So that 4 yards is a lot, is a big difference, right? So once I'm used to that pace, I go to the game. I don't have to worry about pace. That's one box stick mark. I have to worry about the uh, about the pace. And then I figure out what shots I needed to play, when I needed to play them, what were my shots. As a cricketer, I believe as a batsman, there are always three to four shots that I'm going to play regardless of the situation. Now, if I go at 30 for four or two for two, if I see that ball, I'm going to hit that ball. So it's having that clarity and practicing those shots. If I practice those shots enough, I don't have to worry about those shots. Because at the end of the day, once you go into the game, you don't want to worry about shots. You don't want to have to second out yourself. Okay, I'm going to play a reverse. But I've not practiced that that well enough. So I'm like doubtful. So one option's gone. I want to go over covers, but then I've not practiced that enough. So another option's gone. So then you try and force things. So, so the basic thing I did was practice all the shots. Practice it as much as I could. And then once I'm I'm going to the game, I'm ready now. It's like an exam. You study the whole book. You study the whole syllabus. You don't know what's going to come in the exam. But you're prepared, right? If you're not prepared and that question comes, now you're lost. You try and make up something. And once you may try and make up something in cricket, it does not go well. So I think it was a lot of perfect practice that helped me in the game. We had Akash Chopra on the show once and I'd asked him about Virat Kohli. I asked him in terms of what gave him early success in life. <clears throat> so he said that he learned his game early. I think he was saying something similar to what you're yeah. saying. So every batsman has a set of shots that they're naturally good at. True. And if you identify that early on in your life, you can score more runs. Yeah. 
because it's everyone has different strengths now my strength is hitting six of the spinners so i'm not going to force trying to hit a fast bowler like right when i'm starting if i know this template in the ipl was to play 20 balls 25 balls and then unleash in the next next 20 balls right so i've got to believe in myself that okay 20 balls i'll get 20 runs but then the next 20 balls i'm going to get 50 runs so doing that is very tough because what happens in ipl is three dot balls two ball two dot balls is a big thing in ipl you get two dot balls crowd goes mm, and all of that now you're under pressure this jadeja bowling at rapid he's not even giving you a second to breathe and ms behind the stumps ruturaj is fielding what do you do so now you like take a step back like okay that's my process i need to do that if you try and break the shackles too early and force yourself to break the shackles it doesn't go well so you got to have a lot of self belief and trust that game play that took me a lot of time because before i'd play three balls and i'd be on three runs now i'm already under pressure because i i'm not confident enough to get those 20 runs or 30 runs at the back end of the 10 last 10 balls i face now what i did was i was like no matter what what i do in domestic i'm going to back myself first two games i think i was 30 or 30 balls then the next 10 15 balls i got like 40 or runs and then at the end it looks great it looks 45 balls 80 runs so that's a great that's a great innings right but then the first part is very key trusting yourself okay even here i think just your mentality has got plus 4 points plus <laughs> 5 points from that yeah. career mode perspective right with the arrow <laughs> 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 just shanti shanti has increased peace shanti. peace has increased it's um i've said this before to my friends as well i am peaceful now and i think that has come with a lot of assurance which was always there but then there was doubt as well i say i say this a lot i've always doubted myself but i never counted myself out which means once you don't practice well enough once you don't check off the boxes that you need to do before a game before a tournament you will always have that little percent of doubt now if you haven't like learned about me doing this podcast right if you don't know about me well enough you'll have that sort of a doubt ki okay do i ask this do i not ask this it's same for me if i have not prepared well enough i'm not like not there i'm just not there so i think having done all of that gets me into peace in the game like okay i've done everything now results don't matter i'm at peace with myself I'm going to give my 100%. If I if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I'm at peace with myself because I gave myself the best shot to go and perform today. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.